Today, you're joining us in Kent in Edenbridge, and we're gonna be showing you inside this five million pound country home that's been beautifully restored. It dates back to the 14th century. It's listed with John D. Wood. It's got five bedrooms, five bathrooms, and over 5,400 square feet inside the property. We've also got some incredible landscape gardens out the back, matching some of those stately homes you see. And yeah, some incredible finishings inside. They've really managed to merge the old and the new here perfectly. As I mentioned, this property dates back to the 14th century. It even has some links to sort of around the time that King Henry VIII was alive, which is insane. We've got all of those sort of Tudor beams that you can see, really characterful, and all of the stone as well. So much of this house has been extended. You know, there's like been different parts put on over time. So it'd be interesting to see if you guys can tell where that is. Three entrance points. So we've got one entrance over there, one here, and then one around the back. We've even got the annex as well, kind of where we started the video. You can see it now got a triple car garage and then there is a, an apartment up above there. If we have a look this way Jazz, you can see the uh, electric gates at the front of the property so super private and if you look around here you can see all of the parking as well. So an abundance of that. Should we head inside and kick the tour off? Yeah let's go. Let's do it. Okay guys, now we're inside, let's pop a quick floor plan up for you so you can read that and get your bearings through this house. But you're joining us now in this entrance hall, exposed beams everywhere. The ceiling, it's not actually Venetian plaster, although you may be thinking it is, it's crushed marble. So the attention to detail throughout the design of this home, it's pretty sensational. So try and keep up because we've got Armani rug here. We've got a reclaimed French limestone flooring looking kind of like stone flags, but much brighter. Chandelier here as well, and then the Murano table. Oh yeah. All of that glass throughout here is pretty much all Murano, I think, through, yes. through this property. We've got the um, hand-painted Gournay wallpaper that's got like sort of silvers and golds in it. Yeah. It's so Incredible. cool. And you can see this like really reflective crushed marble paint here. Yeah. Insane. Right, should we go down into the kitchen? Wow. So we step down into here and this is really like one of the most modern feeling rooms in the house. Super open plan, as you can probably tell from the, the slight echo in the voice. We've got loads of glass this side, so you can open that all the way out into your garden because those gardens are so special. Yeah, we'll yeah. show you those later. Stay, so stay tuned, tuned for them. So we have a Belgian blue fossil limestone flooring through yes. here. And like the detail in it is so cool. You can even see some of the, like, the little fossils. We have a granite worktop, but it's really in that marble style. Very convenient though, it doesn't stain or anything like that. So it's... I love the shape of it, so yeah. unique. We have gagging out appliances throughout this kitchen. So we've got a little hob here and then the ovens just to Jazz's left, but we also have this humongous Arga. Yeah, so this is like a vintage- Antique splashback. Antique splashback, yeah, it looks so good. But this Arga's massive. It's not something I've ever cooked on myself, yeah, but- an electric Arga too, so. Yeah. Got another sink here, so it's really nice to prepare some food with, you know, mm -hmm. like a preparation sink, but then you've also got the main sink here as well. Similar yeah. granite. Really I like nice. the panelling on the cabinets. Really bespoke. It's a Mark Wilkinson kitchen, so all of these real bespoke designs here, very character characteristic of his designs. We've yes. seen a few of those throughout the houses that we've toured. Great view out the front here. You can even see your uh, monkey friends. You probably can't see them now because it's a little bit darker. But we've got these Murano bubble chandelier lights hanging down as well. And I love how the shape of the island is really complemented by those recessed lights above. Yeah. Because it completely sort of mirrors what is below. Behind Jazz, we have a utility space. It's like nice and tucked out of the way. Mm -hmm. And then we have these Ferrari seats as well. So cool. Check out the handle on this door as well. We've got a real woodland theme. There's a few rooms that you're going to see this in, but it's, yeah, it's like a branch made of metal. Jazz is looking at these blinds, trying to tell me something. I believe they're alligator silk. Yes. So it's, yeah, it's, it's silk, but made to look like alligator scales, which is pretty cool. You see quite a lot of like animal style interior as we go through this house, but this is one of the coolest areas. So we have a, a separate access point to the property. Again, like I'm saying, sort of like animal hide on the, on the walls is really, really bespoke and just so different and unique compared to what you see normally, like yeah. paints. Another one in here, I mean, I believe this is Swedish, he said, like a Swedish glittered wallpaper. Yeah. Even the sink, look at that. I know, all self-cleaning toilets as well. Yes, they are. The, the gibberet toilets, they have the push plates as well. We're gonna head down here now and show you guys this basement. Let's do it. So heading down, this staircase is supported by an aluminium tree trunk. So this is like a branch here. Looks heading down, incredible. one of the longest ones that has been made, which is pretty awesome. You can actually see it underneath, Jazz. This big, big old chunky trunk here. <laughs> 
supporting it. it looks so cool. Oh, yeah. Added to that real woodland theme. The mirrors to Jazz's right, just here, yeah. actually have minerals inside them, creating some really nice colours. But those minerals are so... Um, they don't exist anymore. Yeah, so short in supply that you actually couldn't make the same finish again, which is awesome. So this is obviously a wine cellar. This is awesome. All the wow. bottles look like they're floating. We've got the bath stone and on the back. And then you can actually change the colour in here as well. So depending on what mood you're in, you could go for a yellow or a blue or a red. Ooh. Moody. Yeah, mood lines all the way throughout this property. Yeah. So we can really look ready. Skadoosh. Wow. Party zone. Oh, so, cool. so now we've got a cinema room through here, a real entertainment suite, if you will. Got the uh, real soft walls and flooring through here. So you can imagine great soundproofing, but also it just feels really cozy too. Love this sofa. It's waterproof as well. Waterproof sofa. Mm -hmm. Right, so if you spill your you wine on here, you're sorted. The legs of this table as well are actually made from bulletproof glass. So this was part of like the testing process of that glass. And obviously some of them have shattered. And then we have this bar set up here. Loving the backing here too, right? It kind of adds to that branchy theme. It all is very sort of outdoorsy, whether it's animal skins or wood looking. And then we've got this bar set up here, like I say, so good. Make your guests a drink. Then we have the cinema screen here, right? So we've got the projector opposite me and a huge cinema screen and you can even close these doors so you can like pull them all the way across and shut that off. Hide it, yeah. We've got speakers in the ceiling and yeah. the walls as well. Insane. Right. Let's go back upstairs. Okay, so we're back in the kitchen now. We're going to head up these stairs, but we're going to go left this time. Before we do, check out that bathroom. Oh, I love it. That is what? Loving the ambient lighting in here. Real antique style mirror all the way around. So although it is reflective, it's still got that extra bit of pizzazz. Pajazz. Pajazz, yeah. So we're in the dining room now, nice and bright space, really traditional now. So as you see, since we've come back from the kitchen, we've sort of gone back to that old school look. The exposed beams all the way around. We've got the branch style light fitting as well with these icicles just dripping down. We've got the uh, Moreno table as well. Again, this glass, so cool. And then we've even got sort of hints of gold in the legs here. And it really complements that orange light that's coming up from underneath. Yeah, we've got the silk carpet all throughout yeah, here as well. Yeah, it's super soft, isn't it? Should we go check out the Great Hall? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so coming through here, you can see why it's got the name that it's got. <laughs> it's mad. Humongous vaulted ceiling. It literally feels like I'm in a church at the moment. That's how much space there is in here. Or like somewhere in Harry Potter. Yeah. We've got two 66 kilogram chandeliers hanging down here. They are amazing, don't you think? Yeah, they are. They're hydraulic as well, so you can lower them to clean them. Rather than having to try and sketch your way up there. Yeah. We've got these winged chairs all the way from Venice. The sofa as well is Italian. Moreno glass table again with the sort of glass pebbles in here. Oh yes, looks like they've been, like the You know when they blow the glass and it creates the bubbles? Yeah. It looks like that sycamore wood underneath. We've got the log burner here in this original fireplace. So much character in this part of the house. Loving these like snakeskin tops as well to the cupboards. And they've actually got like a Burberry pattern as well in the bespoke units. Yeah. Cabinet here that encases the TV and you can actually close them. So you can go from informal lounge to formal lounge <laughs> in just about three hinges. I love that. That's convenient. <laughs> Okay, let's go through here, Jazz. Exposed beams, again, super character for. Love this snug. Such a cool part of the house, you know, you've got that living room in there, but if you want to just feel super cozy, this is definitely where you'd go, isn't it? We've even got like an office set up as well. So this would be a great spot to get some work done. The side of the property for when you're working from home, but when you're not, I think we're like 40 minutes away from London. Yeah. So commuting's pretty decent in terms of commute time. About this divide here as well. Kind of we have like another Fendi. access point. It does look very Fendi, doesn't it, in its style? Yeah. Like I say, we have another access point there. But we actually have a bedroom up above here. So, should we check it out? Yeah, let's go. So coming upstairs then, we have this great bedroom in here. Lovely size. First thing that you've got to address is this Chanel bed. Oh, wow. Now, I can imagine just how rare this is. Proper Chanel bed. Sick. Wow. <laughs> we have the ensuite through here. I don't know if you saw the chessboard downstairs, but we've got the flooring through here. <laughs> All individual tiles. Yeah, very uh, meticulously designed with the marble setup as well and a window out as well as your twin sinks. Yeah, it's kind of like a little pod in there, isn't it? Because you've got to remember yes. this is a grade two listed building. So. Great observation, yeah. Yeah. So you can't actually add on. So they've sort of built a separate structure yeah. inside the structure. And through here is your dressing section. Ooh. Just got to duck down. It's so characterful, isn't it? Oh, so I unique. Love it. It's awesome. Right, should we see uh, the rest of the bedrooms? Yes. Right, let's swap over and Jazz can show you them. Behind me, you can see the minstrel landing. Just wanted to give you a better look at it from that perspective. So, 
Yeah, go go head up there. We've got a little door there. <laughs> and that's where the rest of the bedrooms are, so we'll meet you up there. Come on up. We're up now, so Tom, take a look over and see where you were standing. Great view of the chandelier from up here. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Vaulted ceiling. <laughs> but I'm gonna take you through into the principal suite. I like how the ceiling heights just open up when you come in. We've got another vaulted ceiling in here, huge king size bed in the middle. And we've got the chandeliers in here as well with the white, which matches the bedside tables and the wallpaper all the way throughout. We've got that silk carpet in here too. So it feels really, really soft. We've even got silk woven into the yeah. wallpaper up above the bed. But come through into the ensuite. It's a very bright wing of the house. We've got the marble throughout. We've got kind of like the floating shelves with the ambient lighting underneath. Huge jacuzzi bath here with that mirrored aspect and all the mirrors in here are actually heated so they don't fog up as That's well. That's so smart, isn't it? I know. That's a double bath as well. Yeah, it's huge. I could starfish in it. We've got the TV there and then we've got this walk-in and out shower with the huge rainfall shower head above. Worth noting guys, all the lights in this house uh, like smart controls. Yeah, so you can use it, you can control it by your phone, iPad. Spotlights on the floor as well, which is a really nice addition. But if we carry on, we've also got the crystal wall lights. Wow. We come in to our dressing room section, so it steps up. I absolutely love it in here. It really feels like a boutique because we've got the curtains on the inside of the wardrobes. It just looks really lovely. We've got bench seats as well. Another chandelier in here as well. Yeah, you're not short on chandeliers in this house, no. that's for sure. And they're all Murano as well, so very good quality all the way throughout this house. This TV, yeah. it's actually usually covered by artwork. James Bond vibes. Oh yeah, and we've got speakers in the ceiling in here as too. Not just this room either, I believe there's speakers in most ceilings. Yeah, and we've got the underfloor heating throughout a lot of the rooms as well, all individually controlled. Have another absolutely gorgeous, very luxury feeling bedroom in here. Great seating area in front of me. We've got double aspects. So you can look out to both sides of your garden. And we've also got these incredible wardrobes. It's actually um, brushed satin, I believe, yes. is the soft material, but that's actually Stingray. Yes. Believe it or not. Oh my gosh, yeah, isn't it? Bronze embedded Stingray. Yeah, so some very rare materials in this house. Yeah. And then we've got an ensuite in there with the bath as well, but Tom, we're gonna come into this room here. Let's head up and I can tell you a bit about it. So let's come over here first. Oh, we've got these cow seats. Such a cozy area, like a hideaway almost. Yeah. And saying that, it actually was. So when the house was originally around in the time of Henry VIII, all the priests had to go into hiding. And this is actually known as a- Priest what? hole. Priest hole. Yeah. So it's like a room within a room that a priest would hide in. Yeah. Loving the light fittings, like really metallic, yes. quite aggressive designs. Yeah. They're so cool, aren't they? It's like barbed wire almost. This but, would be a great grandkids room. Oh, like, yeah. or just like a young kids room. And you'll see why. So up here, we actually have a bed. I've got the lights, you hop up there. With a starring ceiling, okay. You oh. make yourself comfy. Okay, ready for bed? Yeah. All right, night. Hmm. So you got your starry night. And they twinkle. <laughs> so cool, you can change colors and everything. It yeah. is. Right, let's head back down. So that is the bedrooms all completed. We're now gonna take you outside into the 4.3 acres of grounds and show you the incredible gardens. Let's go. So we've just come out the doors from the kitchen. We've got a nice patio area here with a semi-sunken hot tub, but you're gonna have a really nice view of the house from the back as we make our way further into the gardens. We're so excited to explore, aren't we, Tom? Yeah, so much land here. Wow, looks stunning. Now, one of the best things about this garden is the influences from all over the world. So you've got trees from Japan, China, Spain, everywhere, France. There's just so much culture in this yeah, garden. Yeah, so and much it's, diversity. Yeah, it was actually designed by award-winning garden designer, Roger Platt, too. Wow. Let's explore. Yeah. <laughs> We've got a stream that runs along here. The owner actually said as well that there was a couple of species of trees in this garden mm -hmm. that are literally like 200 million years old. Yeah. Obviously not the actual tree itself, but the, the sort of family <laughs> it comes from. Yeah. Oh, Tom, there's a bridge. <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> we've actually got 4.3 acres of land here. So great amount of space. And we've got this really nice rose walk. So if I quickly hop in. Hop in, we've got this path that leads all the way to the house and it's 
in the summer, it looks incredible. But I'm gonna take you over to the greenhouse and show you that. So here we have an Alatex greenhouse. And for those of you who don't know, they are fully bespoke Victorian greenhouses that are famous. They're pretty much the best greenhouses in the world. It looks like wood, it's aluminium. Yeah. We've, it's so cool in there. We've actually got like grapefruit wow. plants, lemon, orange trees. It looks so cool, is it open? It oh, is. it is. Let's go in. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, so they're really well insulated and yeah, just a great addition to have in your garden. I'm gonna take you guys round to the front, show you the annex and also the lake. Let's go. So around the front of the property, we have this annex. Now it's got a triple car garage below, that lovely red brick and it really matches the house itself. We've got a great sized flat, haven't we, Tom? Yeah, Self -contained. it's massive. It's got two bathrooms, so a guest one and your own ensuite, a bedroom, which has some really stunning mirrors along the back wall. And then we also have a kitchen. Now it's a lot more modern than the house itself as it's so new. It was built around, was it six years ago? Yeah, six or seven years ago, yeah. And it's, it's so good, it's got the lounge up there as well. So it really could be its own separate thing, you know, whether you had teenagers, or even for a source of income, something like that, you know, it's a great, great spot. Yeah, exactly. But now if we head further, we're going to show you the lake. What a beautiful spot. We've got the lake right behind me. I can imagine the summer it would be amazing. And you've got the house in the background. The grounds are just incredible, aren't they, Tom? Yeah, incredible. But we hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Be sure to like and comment down below what your favourite part is. I think mine was the basement. Yeah, that the was pretty cool. insane. Yeah, that wine cellar. Ooh. Oh yeah. <laughs> but yes, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video.